Today I'm going to explain a few tricks to help you create lead guitar parts. First, for your leads to sound interesting, it's important to memorize a variety of licks. Licks are short melodic phrases. As you practice each of these licks over and over, performing them will become a reflex action. You won't even think about the notes involved. Bits and pieces of these licks will start to pop out of your subconscious mind spontaneously in new and interesting combinations. My Classic Metal Licks DVD has 109 classic rock style phrases. They're explained with printed tab, on-screen animated tab, and performed at slow and normal speeds. You can see what both the fretting and picking hands are playing. And probably most important, this program explains a method for memorizing and recalling each lick instantly. Still, even if you don't own my Licks DVD, you can apply what I'm teaching today to your own collection of licks. Several times a week I'll take a half hour of practice time and run through about 50 licks. And here's the important part. Don't just play them using the exact same phrasing as the tab. By phrasing I mean the rhythm of the lick. It's important to learn how to change phrasing on the fly. That's the secret that I'm going to be teaching here. To demonstrate I'll play a lick at 90 beats per minute. Here's how I play lick number 21 as it appears in the tab. As I'm playing this lick, I'm listening to the beat. The last note is played on the sixth beat, and I'm paying attention to that. Here's the lick repeated three times. I'll keep the tempo at 90 beats per minute, but this time I'll play the lick a little faster. And the last note will be struck on the fifth beat instead of the sixth beat. I'm basically speeding up the phrase, but fitting it into the same tempo. This type of playing, it's like a cat landing on his feet. It might not be pretty, but it gets the job done. I just try to end the lick on a beat and then move on to another lick. I'm simply listening to the beat and trying to land at a place that sounds pleasing. For example, I might blaze through this same lick and end on the fourth beat of the measure. This is all about feel and phrasing. There's not much thinking involved. Another way to phrase this is just the opposite. Start off really slow and then blaze through the ending. The lick I'm demonstrating is pentatonic. Pentatonic means that it comes from a five-tone scale instead of the typical seven-tone scale. The five notes of the minor pentatonic scale are common to several different minor scales. So a pentatonic lick isn't going to sound out of place regardless of the minor scale that you're using. Think of the pentatonic scale as safe. There's less chance of you hitting a note that sounds out of place. If you want the lick to have a more complex sound, just add an additional two notes. It's easier to add notes to a simple pentatonic lick on the fly than to remove notes from a more complex seven tone phrase like lick number 28.
Lick 28 is based on the natural minor mode, which is explained in stage four of the complete basic course. This stuff is not complicated. I'll also practice phrases based on these licks, but make small changes to create something original. Practice jamming with your friends in pre-recorded rhythm tracks. As you gain experience, you'll learn to master this process. Well, that's it for today. If you're like me, this lesson will be something that you'll continue working on as you continue to develop your guitar playing skills. This is a process, not a goal. Please visit rockguitar.com. I have a complete list of my free video guitar lessons there, as well as performance videos and demonstrations from my complete basic course. See you there.